Tokyo. It is one of the top 10 most populated cities in the entire world. Streets are constantly buzzing, people are always on the move, and there's hardly a moment of silence in between the chaos. But did you know that the greater Tokyo area is comprised of the seven surrounding prefectures as well? It's true that Tokyo Metropolis is an exciting place to be, but an hour away in any direction will bring you to wide open spaces, fresh air, small communities, and old fashioned towns that are still largely untouched by tourism. Today, we're going to take a laid back look at some of the scenery that lies one step beyond Tokyo as we think we know it. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Michaela, and I'm currently on a four day trip exploring the greater Tokyo region. These are the suburbs of Tokyo that tourists don't normally come to, so it's pretty interesting to get out here and see what it's actually like. So day one, we're here in Tsuru City in Yamanashi Prefecture, and it's a small town near the foot of Mount Fuji. The really defining thing about this area is the uh, natural spring water that it sources from Mount Fuji itself. There are these gorgeous waterfalls and crystal clear rivers flowing throughout the city. a beautiful sunset tonight after an overcast day it's nice to see some color in the sky it's so gorgeous we've got this giant waterfall right here too <sighs> fresh air beautiful scenery I love little farming towns like this so we're on a very bumpy dirt road and we are heading into the mountains here in yes. Otsuki City. We're going to have lunch at a Yakuzen place, like a medicinal herbal lunch and I'm really excited. We have gone deep into the forest yeah. and this is like a bumpy <laughs> dirt road and it's so, what's the word? It's, it's narrow. Wild, right? Yeah. It's wild. This is a place that you would never think to come to on your no. own. <laughs> like I, I would I'll stop driving. Yeah. And, way down there. I wouldn't be brave enough to try no. to find this place without a tour guide, so I'm really glad that we're getting brought out here. Yeah. So this is Yakuzen Ryori. Um, it's medicinal food that, um, according to today's menu, is based on the Libra horoscope, which is very interesting. Mm. And it's supposed to have medicinal properties that are good for like your back and your liver and stuff like that. Probably in general. Yeah, probably in general. This is probably the healthiest meal I've had in a while. But I actually I love stuff like this. I love I food. I've had a meal that's healthy. Really? And like ever. This will be a new experience. All in You're its own. You're gonna be a brand new man. Here we go. You're gonna walk out of here 10 years younger. I'm about to eat a vegetable. <laughs> Don't do it. These are real things that are happening. <laughs> From what I can see, Otsuki City is a very traditional town, which quietly reflects on days gone by. Its attractions are mainly the outdoor type, with hiking trails, mountains, and rivers, with a few historical monuments scattered around the city as well. So now we're heading down to Saruhashi Bridge, um, Monkey Bridge, and uh, it's one of the spots that I've been looking forward to most during this trip to Otsuki City just because it looks to be like one of the more photogenic spots here in the area. So we're going to see if we can get down on the river. This water, oh my god, the color is just gorgeous. I love stuff like this. I love vibrant natural colors. <laughs> Yamanashi Prefecture and we've entered Kanagawa and now we are driving through this winding twisting road in Fujino Art Sanctuary where you can actually pass multiple like art sculptures and things on the way it is kind of interesting if you like art so another thing that Sagamihara is famous for is the JAXA uh, space exploration campus 
lots of uh, displays here where you can learn about things that Japan is doing to move forward in space exploration. <laughs> Kim thought this was a missile. <laughs> it's a rocket. It's a rocket. They look the same, okay? And I'm tired. I understand. They do. They so. do look the same. They look. I don't know. One of the things I love recommending to people when they visit space exhibitions is to try the space food. In Japan, you can find flavors like takoyaki or mochi, and ice cream, and even canned bread. <laughs> I don't, I'm kind of nervous about this. One. Yeah. Hold on. That's literally can shaped. <laughs> yeah. Bread. Just oh no. Into the can. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just gonna break off a little bit. Try. Yeah. yeah. I mean. <laughs> it's definitely an experience. Just one hour from central Tokyo is the Akikawa Valley, one of the closest natural retreats to the Tokyo metropolis. Autumn is the perfect time to visit, especially if you're a fan of hot springs. Whoa, you guys. It has been an incredibly long day and I'm feeling wrecked. I'm like, I know that I don't look that cute right now and I don't really want to be on camera, but I want you to see how excited I am for this room. I have not had a cottage, like an actual legit cottage like this in Japan ever. <gasps> I have a kitchen? Are you f***ing serious? How do I turn it on? How do I turn on the kitchen? I have a kitchen. I have a kitchen. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my God. Oh wow, this is beautiful. And so spacious. You don't get spacious rooms like this in the city anywhere in Japan. This is the type of stuff you gotta come out to the countryside for. All right, guys, it's about 10 p.m. at night. Dead quiet, we're in the middle of the mountains. It's like, you can hear like the river, yeah. the running water, yeah. and that's about it. And we're all dressed up in our, uh, what would you call this? Onsen attire, onsen I guess. Attire, yeah. yeah, I got changed too. There's a public foot bath out here where you can just come and warm your feet. Yeah. You don't have any tattoos, do you? I don't think you do. Me? No. You don't have any diapers either. Um, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> diapers and tattoos aren't allowed, so... Oh, yeah. Sorry, Kim. Sorry. <laughs> I'll, I'll take my diapers off. <laughs> so it's been three days, mm -hmm. and we've been traveling around the suburbs of Tokyo, and uh, like Yamanashi and Kanagawa, um, exploring the countryside out mm -hmm. here. And it's nice that, um, you know, for all the busyness that happens in Tokyo City, mm. like in the central, in central Tokyo, like yeah. just a few hours away, you can come out and have a really relaxing experience yeah. like this. Mm. I actually didn't think that there would be one like this around mm. Tokyo because I've been to a few before, but they were really busy and touristy. Mm -hmm. This one is like, it's kind of out of the way, mm -hmm. but it's, it's really amazing. And like the cabins that we're staying in are really nice too. Mm. It's crazy. Like I think it, this is the kind of place I'd want to bring a bunch of friends out to yeah. for like a weekend. Yeah. Good morning. So we are here in Hachioji City this morning and we've gotten up really early. We're at the 599 Takao Museum. We're waiting to get everybody together and then we're going to head up the mountain. Takao. 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 Talking about how popular it is? No. It's like one of the most climbed mountains. Like. Oh yeah, they did say that. I think that it, well that that was going I've, off with the tour. Yeah. Like said. Every year, roughly 2.5 million people visit Mount Takao. To reach the top, you can either challenge one of the eight hiking courses, or you can take the cable car, which has the steepest incline in all of Japan, and it's actually quite thrilling. Out of all of the places we've visited, this is definitely the most touristy, but it's also the most accessible, and you don't even have to be an avid hiker to enjoy We're all, we're just eating, we're eating our way up the mountain. <laughs> I mean, we can eat and then walk in birds and calories and eat some more, right? True. On clear days, this mountain becomes a very popular lookout spot. From the very top viewpoint, you can see all of central Tokyo, as well as Mount Fuji in the distance, if you're lucky. Tokyo is one of the biggest cities in the world, but if you're feeling a little suffocated, you don't have to travel too far to take a break. Don't be afraid to spread out and explore. Whether you're into hiking, eating, relaxing, or just wandering somewhere new, adventure is just a short train ride away. 
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos about Japan. Bye!